are listening to the What the Wrestling Podcast, the show that brings you all things wrestling with your host, RJD. Oh, you already know what time it is. Perfect. Monday Night Raw. Coming to you yet again. Where the hell were they at? I forgot the damn facility. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! You know what I did forget, though? My socials. Follow me. R-J-D, R-J-699 on Twitter, R-J-D-199 on Snapchat. But most importantly, follow What's The Wrestling on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Follow What's The Wrestling on Spotify and Anchor. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Tis I, R-J-D here. Welcome to What The Wrestling, the show that brings you all things wrestling. I know you're probably like, stop the show, stop the show. What the hell is with this big ass, fluffy ass hoodie? I mean, y'all have seen me in this before. But what's up with this goddamn hoodie and what are we doing? And why the shades in the middle of the night? Well, I shall tell you. Uh, I got the flu, y'all. I feel like dirt. So... And no, it's not the goddamn Rona. Nope. But, real talk, I have the flu, so... uh, I feel like dirt, so... We're gonna power through this. Uh, Light is hurting my eyes. I'm hot, and then I'm cold, and then I'm hot. I don't know what the hell's going on, but... That will not stop me from bringing you my review of Monday Night Raw... And also, this might be a quick one, but uh, at least we're going to get to talk about this review. Now, before anything, like the goddamn video, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. What the Wrestling, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, you guys already know. HBO, help a brother out. Likes cost you nothing, you heard me? We up here with the flu, doing what we got to do. Hey, at least I got the cat here. Uh, let's get this out the way. You don't want to mess up the merch. You don't want to mess up the merch. But anyway, uh, I will be bouncing around. So y'all know how I do on Mondays and Fridays. I bounce around. So let's talk about the triple threat match. Bay, uh, no, Actually, we'll start off with the Usos. So the Usos came out. WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions, The Usos versus Matt Riddle and Elias, but Elias got his ass kicked, so Get the fuck out of here. they beat him up in a preemptive strike, so Riddle had no tag team partner until Kevin Owens came out, Surprise, and he was like, I'm here, let's do this, and we had ourselves a very good opening match. Shout out to the honorary Oos, the full-time Oos now. He was great as always. Really a standout of this segment was Sola Sokoa. So Matt Riddle gets hit with the 1D and loses. 
Kevin Owens gets mad and grabs a chair and wants to whack everybody over the head with it. So they split. Matt Riddle is the only one left. And Solo Sokoa, he turned into Umaga for the night. <coughs> uh, excuse me, I'm going to try to keep my cough into a minimum. But he turned into Umaga for the night. He had the taped up thumb. He hit the hip attack. He beat the holy hell out of Matt Riddle. Putting the chair around his neck and hip attacking the chair while it was on his neck. While he was in the corner. Hit him with a Samoan spike. So Matt Riddle is probably getting written off TV. Get the fuck out of here! And Solo Sokoa looked like a true badass Samoan last night. So shout out to him. That was great. Good match, too. Very good match. We had the triple threat match to determine a number one, con well, half of the number one contender for the women's title. We had Bailey, Asuka, and Rhea Ripley. This was a good triple threat match. Rhea Ripley is fantastic. I mean, we know Asuka's good. We know Bailey's good. We know Rhea Ripley's good. We know Becky's good. <laughs> Excuse me. All of these women are fantastic. And this was a good triple threat match. But Bailey gets the win. Rhea Ripley tries to do something on the outside. And she tries to send on onto Bailey. And I think she splatted and hit nothing but the mat on the outside. That looked like it sucked. But after that, Bailey gets in the ring, has a good back and forth with Asuka before the end of the match. And Bailey wins. So Bailey is one half, one half of the number one contenders match. Who is the other half? Why, well, I'll tell you. I will tell you. Alexa Bliss, everybody. So Alexa Bliss beat Becky and Nikki Cross in a triple threat match after Cross got hit with the twisted bliss because the Kodakai and EO Sky. Pulled Bailey out of the ring when she had the match won. So they were basically like, nope, we don't want to hear it. So damage control continues to be a thorn in her side. And Alexa Bliss teased doing the Sister Abigail. She teased it. But in the end, she wins with the Twisted Bliss. I really think that Alexa Bliss needs a heel turn or something. Well, not necessarily a heel turn. She needs to be involved in something. That's that's the problem with Alexa Bliss. She's kind of just there right now. Like, Bailey is involved in something. Asuka, always great. Rhea is involved in something. Becky just got back. We're happy to see her. Nikki Cross just changed into crazy Nikki Cross again. Alexa Bliss is kind of just there. So, I'm hoping that they do something with her. I don't know if they'll put a excuse me, I just got very nasal out of nowhere. I don't know if they'll put it back with Bray Wyatt, but we will see what happens. This was very, very good. We also had Seth freaking Rollins coming out, talking junk, and Bobby 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 Lashley met him out there. They confronted each other, and Seth freaking Rollins was talking hella shit. So, I mean, on one hand, it's but on the other hand, it's like, isn't he the baby face? But he's still like, ha, 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 you're not as good as Brock Lesnar because I'm going to beat you like he did. Ha, 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 ha. I can't do that. I'm about to choke. My throat is killing me. Pause. But he's like acting like such an asshole to Bobby. And I'm like, I want to cheer for Bobby now. So they had a brawl. Bobby ends up, Bobby ends up, uh, they end up fighting each other all around the ring. Pull apart brawls. Didn't I tell y'all about them pull apart brawls on my last podcast? I love pull apart brawls when they're done right. So they got themselves a pull apart brawl. And Bobby actually accidentally spears one of the officials. And he gets scolded about it. Don't do that again, Bobby. Wait, they did they hit him? Oh, wait. I don't think I got it. I don't think I got it no more. Wait. Oh, I don't got it no more. I gotta get that 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 sound bite back. But they hit they hit Bobby with the Adam Pierce sent him with the don't do that again. He was like, yo, it was an accident. He was like, I know. I'm not saying you're in trouble, but 
don't let any more accidents happen or my hands are tied. He was like, what? What you said? So he basically was like, then tell your cronies not to get in my way and we'll be good. So this was very interesting. Uh, hyping up a match. I'm all for it. Let me see it. These two guys are fantastic. Cool with me. Let's see what happens with this. Don't do this again, Bobby bullshit. U.S. Championship match. Austin Theory versus Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali came back and complained while Austin Theory was out there. He said, listen, you know what I just saw? I saw the past. Two guys arguing over scraps. Talking about Seth and Bobby. So Mustafa Ali came out of nowhere and he was like, listen, bro. Wait, down here. Down here. Listen, bro. You better respect me, man. I want a, I want another opportunity. It's like, we know what he went through a couple of years ago when he was like, I want to get released. I just want an opportunity. They don't give opportunities to everybody. He's been very vocal about this for the last couple of years, Ali has. And now it's like they're making it into like a running joke. Like, for real. Opportunity, 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 opportunity. Like, I don't know, man. It's, I don't know. Stop it. Get some help. That's what it just feels like. Like, if you're not going to have him keep losing and then do something with him, turn him heel, have him turn into a badass, something. He's too talented to just be losing all the time for no reason. And I know the crowd isn't behind him, but the crowd isn't behind him because you haven't done shit with him. The brother's talented. I'm glad he's on TV, but goddamn, put him in something. So, Austin Theory was winning this match when Dolph Ziggler came out of nowhere and super kicked uh, Ali and Theory. Actually, no, he super kicked Theory and Ali. No, he super kicked. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <coughs> oh, <man>. <coughs> <coughs> I'm clipping that up. I had a mean brain fart right there. Holy hell. Don't get the flu, guys. Don't get the flu. Anyway. Anyway. Austin Theory wins by disqualification because of Dolph Ziggler. So... The OC, uh, Dominic Mysterio beat Okira Tozawa, in which Okira Tozawa did a huge jumping senton, and he landed right on his back. Yikes, that had to suck. And the OC beat Alpha Academy and Baron Corbin with the magic killer to Chad Gable. There was a night-long poker tournament in which Gargano and uh, Dexter Loomis came away with a lot of money. And there were multiple fights made up because of this poker tournament. And I guess they tried to go for comedy, but it wasn't really that funny. But listen, still a watchable show. Nothing exciting happened. Nothing overly crazy happened. But it was still a watchable show compared to what we used to get six months ago. So I ain't about to sit here and complain. But what I am about to do is sit here and rest up, drink some water, and take my ass to sleep. Because after I put this up and hit hit my clips up, uh, we're going to rest up because the flu sucks. So with that being said, here on my socials, once again, don't forget, like hit the like button, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I am out. Everybody be safe. Please wish me well. I'm out. Peace. Don't go.